सो वेलकम टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ कॉस्ट सेंटर्स इन टैली विथ जी एस टी सो इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ यू कैन यूज कॉस्ट सेंटर्स एंड कॉस्ट कैटेगरीज इन टैली विथ एग्जाम्पल सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द एग्जाम्पल दैट वी हैव सीन इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो दर फॉर इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द फर्स्ट वीडियो यू शुड गो एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट बिकॉज इन दैट वीडियो वी सो हाउ कैन क्रिएट हाउ यू क्रिएटेड द कॉस्ट सेंटर्स एंड कॉस्ट कैटेगरीज एंड टैली विद एग्जाम्पल एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट कॉस्ट सेंटर्स एंड कॉस्ट कैटेगरीज इन परचेज एंड सेल्स वाउचर्स इन टैली सो आई हैव रिटर्न द एंटायर entire process all the parts of the video in this post so if you want to go step by step through the process come to this post and see for yourself and on the one hand open up this post on the other hand open up your tally and start working so we have already seen how you can enable and create cost categories in tally now we are going to use the cost categories in tally with gst and for purchase and sales voucher but before that let me tell you that i have created the sundry creditor ledger for yash sundry debtors ledger for yash swini so expenses ledger stock items ledger gst taxations ledgers purchase 18% ledger sales 18% ledger so if you do not know how you can create all these ledgers and stock items with gst then i suggest you come to this post go to this links because i have already provided everything here i'll also link i'll also put all these links at the description so you can directly go from there as well because if i will start explaining everything in this video then it will take much more time probably 2 3 days to cover everything so let's go ahead and create a gst purchase voucher in tally and we'll take our example so our example is that we are going to purchase 10 cotton bales from uh, yashaswini if i am not wrong okay so we are going to purchase 10 cotton bales from yash so here is the example let me show you the example right now here is the example example number 1 on how to create cost centers and categories and in there if you come down the we are buying some raw materials for t-shirts to surat location which is 22000 rupees per bale at 10 bales from yash so i am going to tally and let me show you what you have to do so first of all you have to go to accounting vouchers from gateway of tally because we are going to create a purchase voucher for that so i am in the accounting voucher now we have to select the purchase voucher i am in the payment voucher so if you are not in the purchase voucher click on purchase here or press f9 so you will be in the purchase voucher now what you have to do i have already done the entry so i'll show you what you have to do by going in my entry so let me go in my entry and this is the entry so first of all select the appropriate date that you want for your bill or for your invoice then press enter supplier invoice number i've entered 001 you can enter your invoice number then date of the invoice the next option is cost center classes so if you remember we have bought this material or cotton bales at the surat location you can see here in the example so that means we will select the cost center surat so i've selected the cost center surat here what you can do is type in surat and you will see the list of cost center and classes here so surat is selected what this will do is in tally it will connect this transaction to the cost center surat or connect cost center to this transaction and this way we can see what happened in surat as a cost center now party account name select yash which we have already created press enter now if you want to enter all these details you can but i'll just keep it by pressing control plus a then select cotton for the stock item how you can create stock items with gst i have already explained it in another post so you can go there and see but uh, how you can do that i'll not show you in this video because this video will be long without that as well so i have selected cotton 
now not applicable not applicable this is the go down location so if you want to enable the go down as well you can enable that also so quantity is 10 bales and 22,000 per bale so total amount is 220,000 and end of the list now as soon as you press enter you will be popped up or a screen small screen will pop up in which you have to select the purchases ledger for GST so this purchase ledger is also enabled with GST and 18% is applicable on this transaction so I have named the purchase ledger as purchases 18% so press enter and tally has automatically selected the type of tax that is applicable that is interstate purchase taxable that is IGST on purchases this is because if you remember that we have our home location as Gujarat but what we are purchasing from Yash so he is from Tamil Nadu if you go in the example and see that Yash who is from Tamil Nadu so everything written in this example is like a real transaction but every detail is important so pay attention while reading the example and press enter the amount is 220,000 so now we are above the total here many times people miss this and they feel well to enter the GST ledger so this is the time that you pay attention here we are above the total here so press enter and the selection is below the total so as soon as the selection comes below total enter the GST ledger so I'll enter IGST if you do not know how you can create GST taxation ledger I'll link down that post and video below in the description so IGST and as soon as I press IGST GST will be cal calculated automatically so if your GST is not calculated automatically by tally then you have done something wrong in all these places either you have done something incorrect in creating the sundry creditors ledger ledger if you are doing a sales entry or a cost center or stock item or the purchases ledger or the GST ledger so if you have not done anything incorrect or wrong then this will be calculated automatically if you want to see you can also see the exact GST calculation by going into tax analysis then detailed and if you go there you can see cotton and this is the GST this is the HSN code which I've just entered like 1234 you have to enter the exact HSN code item value integrated tax 18% total taxes 39,600 so if we go back we can see the total with tax is 259,600 and press enter so as the amount is above 50,000 you have to enter the GST evable details as well but for this cost center just for learning cost center I'm, I'm skipping the details because I've already explained how you can create EV bill number and enter all the details in there so I'm just keeping it right now but in reality you have to enter that so press enter and press enter and save the entry so this is how you can do the purchases transaction with GST using cost centers in tally now we will look at the sales voucher using cost centers in tally so what is the example for sales let's go and see so we are manufacturing in between which i will cover in another video which is the later video but we have manufactured five 250 t-shirts so from the raw material that is cotton bales we have manufactured 250 t-shirts so let me just show you in this video the manufacturing entry as well i have also created another video and a post for manufacturing entry but let me just show you what i have done so if i go into stock summary then okay so we have sold all the t-shirts let me go in this display inventory box stock transfers and April. so this is how the transfer of material I have done or a manufacturing entry in stores I have done cotton which is uh, 10 bales so I've used entire material of 10 bale and 
in production or destination you can see here i have created 250 number of t-shirts at 1000 rupees per t-shirt so 250000 rupees total is our cost we will sell this to 5 lakhs in 5 lakhs to yashasvi so just this is the manufacturing entry or stock journal entry and you can find this in inventory vouchers so if i go back and go to inventory vouchers from transactions or gateway of tally i can see the stock journal entry you can create a stock journal entry simply select the raw material on the left hand side and finished goods on the right hand side so now we are going to create a sales entry for our t-shirt so what you have to do is go to accounting vouchers once again and select sales from the right hand side so i've selected sales if you have created classes for sales it will uh, pop up view to enter that so i have created i just select sales and cost center class you can select right here which is surat we are selling from surat as well so surat so this is the cost center class that we have already selected now what we have to do is the entry only so again you can come here and click here and select the cost center class again by pressing backspace so i've selected surat now select the person or name whom you want to sell so i've created this entire entry so i'll show you that entry directly so i'll go into that entry and you can see cost center class i've already selected party account name yashaswini and she is from chennai if i am not mistaken so if we go there in the example we are selling yash yashaswini is from kerala okay she's from kerala so in the state while creating the ledger for yashaswini we will enter kerala so let me show you by control plus enter by pressing control plus enter you can see the state is kerala this is important because we have to calculate gst on this so press accept and if you want to enter all these details you can enter so i'll just press accept and in the name of item select t-shirt which we have created by a manufacturing entry and select 250 because we are going to selling we are going to sell everything in the rate 2000 so this rate 2360 is inclusive of tax so inclusive of gst it will be 2360 rupees per t-shirt so 360 rupees per t-shirt is the tax rate this is without that so 2000 and total is 5 lakh rupees press enter and enter the sales ledger that is sales 18 percent and okay and once you click enter or press enter again tally will prompt you with interstate sales taxable which is the tax classification detail so tally will prompt you with a tax classification detail so press enter and everything is correct so press enter enter and enter the igst ledger so you have to enter the igst ledger in the same way as we have entered in the purchase voucher as soon as you go below the total of the amount press select igst from the list of ledgers which is here and press enter if you want to select certain expenses ledger then you can also select expenses ledger and then after that select igst because gst will be applicable on the entire invoice value so press enter and igst is calculated automatically 90000 rupees on 5 lakh which is 18% 18 fives are 90 and press enter again if you want to enter the e-waybill details you can and you have to enter if the amount is up above 550000 but we are not going to enter for the simplicity so i'll select no press enter enter and it will say that mandatory information for e is not specified so i know it is mandatory but 
for this example and for this we are just focusing on cost centers in tally so that's why we are not going to enter it press enter it seems that we are pressing enter quite a few times in tally in one transaction so press enter and this was the sales entry in tally using cost centers now let me just show you a little bit of reporting part which we are going to cover in later videos in full in complete but in completely different way but let me just show you what we have done so you know or you can see how cost centers work in tally so i am going to display then statement of inventory in there we can see okay so it was sorry statement of accounts so it was statement of accounts in there we can see cost centers there you can see category summary cost center breakup so we'll just look at cost center breakup and we'll go into surat because our purchases and sales were happening from surat so if i go and click detailed we can see the sales happening from surat which is five lakh which we right now did a few moments ago then purchases which were happened from surat or in surat which we did also in this video at the beginning of the video and this direct expenses we are going to look at this in the later video or in the next video exactly which is going to come 9 am and 5 pm so i am uploading two videos daily 9 am in the morning and 5 pm in the evening so this video is going to come 9 am in the morning 20th april and after that this direct expenses video will come 5 pm in the evening 20 april so be starik ko so therefore both the everything is connected to a cost center and in this cost center we can clearly see what is happening in surat similarly you can define cost center as per your area or as per your branch as per your shop if you have one more than one shop if you have more than one department you can also divide this cost center like that and you can see each of the cost center what is happening in each of the cost center by seeing the entire picture you may not be able to see where the actual problem is for example if sales are coming less in the company as a total but if that impact is only in surat then you can see cost center wise that where the sales are actually coming less and that that's where the problem is so that's where you need to solve it similarly you can take many more business decisions based on cost centers in tally so this were the sales and purchases vouchers 